Hello guys, I'm Aluko Shao Enoch and welcome to my math tutorial session on statistics and probability. Okay, in today's session, um, we shall be taking a look at um, the Cambridge Advanced Level Mathematics past paper, paper 6, and that is statistics and probability, okay? So, um, S1. So guys, this is actually the part 2 of my video on um, probability and statistics um, advanced level. So, if you need to get a better understanding of this, um, Go ahead and watch the part one of the video. So let's go ahead with the next question, guys. So in Pemerton, 23% of family own a dishwasher. Find the probability that of 15 family children are found down from Pemerton between four and six, inclusive, own a dishwasher. Okay, so guys, um, if you look at this question now, um, this is actually um, a binomial distribution model. Okay, sample problem. So uh, don't forget that um, if you have a random variable, for example, let's say that um, the family is the old dishwasher, let's say the, uh, let's take a random variable x to represent that. So let's say um, the random variable x has a binomial distribution, yes, with binomial distribution uh, with the parameter n, that's what that's a post space, 15 family, and uh, probability that the family uh, own a dishwasher, that is p. That is 22 percent okay from here now we can the probability density function pdf uh, for a binomial distribution is giving us uh, n combination um, x okay so um, px uh, q um, n minus x sorry about that q okay <laughs> let me just uh, let me write it um, le let me do that Okay, Q, okay, N minus X. Okay, we are, um, P is probability that uh, family owns washi. Uh, that, sorry, P is probability that um, the family own a dishwasher and Q is that uh, family did not uh, own a dishwasher, something like that. Like, for example, this probability of success and this probability of failure, something like that. Okay, guys, um, let's just go ahead and bring out our parameters, guys. Um, so, P is um, 22%. 22%, that is 0 0.22. Um, okay. Don't forget that um, Q, if probability of success is P, then failure is Q. That is 1 minus. Because this is binomial. It's either you own a dishwasher or not. It's either you own a dishwasher or not. So, Q will be 1 minus P. And... Um, that should give me um, 1 minus 0.22. Let me use my calculator to compute that. 1 minus 0.22, and that is um, 0.78. So that's 0.78. And what else do I need? My N. Uh, my N is 15 family altogether. Okay, and I want to find a probability between 4 and um, six inclusive so a uh, probability four and six inclusive you can write that in interval form so let's just put that one in interval form so that is probability okay so um four less or equals to because it's inclusive so you put equals to um random variable okay x uh then less or equals to um six so this is what we are looking for guys Okay, guys, um, so meaning that I'm going to do, um, I'll just compute probability distribution 4, 5, and 6. Okay, I, I use sum because either 4 or 5 or 6. Okay, so that's it. Kind of, so between 4 and 6 inclusive, own a dishwasher family between 4, 5, so and 6. So that, that, let's just go ahead and work with that now. So, um, so the probability now is, so using probability distribution, this one here. So this is the formula I'm going to use here. Um, let me put this here. Guys, hope you know how to, this is combination. So you know this, this is C, combination. So you can see that on your calculator. So this is what we are going to have now. So probability, this answer equals to, um, the first one, four. So I have um, 15, and combination. So that is 15, combination four. So, that's 0 0.22 raised to power 4, 0 0.22 raised to the power of 4, then Q, that is 0.78, that is Q, then 15 minus 4, 15 minus 4, and that is um, 
11 right 11 then that is um, 4 then plus to be 4 or 5 so for 5 now that will be 15 combination 5 0 0.22 raised power 5 0 0.22 raised power 5 then Q is 0 0.8 Seven eight rather. Then fifteen minus five is ten. Okay, so that's what we have here. Or six. So that will be fifteen combination six. Okay. Zero point two two raised power six. Two two raised power six. Then zero point seven eight raised power nine. That is fifteen minus six. Another thing you guys should notice that when you sum the index, it should be 15, something like that. So I'm going to compute this in my calculator now, such so that uh, probability, um, a random, cho a family choosing at random, um, up between 15 and 6 inclusive. So that will be, um, do I need to write it? Let me just go ahead and write it. So between um, 4 and 6 inclusive now, probability between 4 and 6, 4 to 6 family. Uh, own a dish washer equals to so let me just do this now so my calculator now 15 combination 4 into 0 0.22 raised power 4 into 0 0.7 um, 8 raised power 11 plus 15 combination 5 into 0 0.22 raised power 5 into 0 0.7 8 raised power 10 plus 15 combination 6 0 0.22 raised power 6 into 0 0.78 raised to the power of uh, 9 equals to 0 0.398 so this is 0 0.398 so now the probability that a family choosing a random are uh, from um, Permadon uh, between 4 and 6 inclusive old in dishwasher is uh, 0 0.398. So that's solution to that question, guys. Okay, um, let's go to the next question, guys. Let's okay, guys, um, here is the next question. Uh, a random sample of 45 families from Permadon is chosen. I uh, use a suitable approximation to find the probability that more than 26 families own a dishwasher. Okay, guys, and don't forget that from the last question, we were able to. Um, um, I have to import this in order to make reference to this so that we know um, the uh, probability that um, a family owned a dishwasher and not then the total sample space. Okay, so guys, um, before you can use um, binomial approximation to um, uh, normal for it p must be um, less than 5 and nq also must be less than 5, meaning that 0.2 times 15. If the value is less than 5, 0.78 times 15, if the value is less than 5, then we can uh, do um, um, binomial, uh, we, can, uh, we can use um, a pro, um, binomial approximation to normal. So we can use normal to model a binomial distribution. So that's the application. Okay, so let's go ahead with um, the conventional um, knowledge we have. This is, um, we have a random variable as a binomial. Um, distribution okay NP sorry N yeah N comma P I don't need to write the condition but this is five marks uh, I'm not sure the examiner will give you any mark or something like that so this can be this can be approximate we can do we can a uh, binomial can be um, we can have it do a normal approximation such that um, this is a normal distribution now. Or let's use another letter now. Let me just use V, okay, another random variable V. So binomial can is, is approximately, um, you can approximate a binomial distribution using normal. So let's um, normal, a, another random variable V as a normal distribution. Okay. And for normal distribution, you have um, the parameter you use is um, mean, that we use mu, and sigma square. That is um, variance. 
So we want to approximate this random variable to this. So now what is mu? That is mean. So mean is NP, don't forget. That is um and um, sigma square square that is variance because sigma is standard deviation but this is variance npq right npq so just like you know that the probability density function for normal distribution is that and this one yeah this is mean of um, normal distribution and this is variance for normal distribution okay so we can continue from here now so from there now then i can just come let's just go ahead and find um let's go ahead and find um we have n already okay and it's given to be 145 family okay then we want more than 26 family we want more than 26 family so our n here is 145 we want probability sorry about that we want probability the random variable is more than so more than that is greater than the value is um, 26. This is what we want to estimate. So let's go ahead and find our mu, then our, our variance. So NP. So N, that is um, 145 times what? Times 0 0.22. 145 times 0 0.22. So then the mean is what then? Let me use my calculator. 0 0.22 times 145. 145. So that is 39.1. 39.1. So let's go ahead for the variance to NPQ. Uh, that would be n is 145 times 0 0.22 sorry about that <laughs> okay uh, times um, 0.78 because we have this information from the previous question okay 22 percent of the family okay or a dishwasher so not will be one minus like from the first question so this gives what now so that's just like saying um 39.1 times 0 0.78 something like that hope my handwriting is cool let me just write this very properly this is actually 0 0.78 okay 0 0.78 Okay, I don't know my board. Seven eight. So that's one point three nine times zero point seven eight. So that is what? That is twenty four point eight eight two. Twenty four point eight eight two. Guys, you need not to run this one up to one dp. Just go ahead and use it. Okay, eight eight. That is three dp. Huh? Okay, so we can go ahead now. So I can go ahead with uh, my game now. So meaning that, um, so since I want to use normal approximation, so I'll continue with this. So a random variable V has a normal um, distribution and it's normal. So the mean is um, 39.1, 39.1. So these are the parameters I'm going to use, comma 24.882. So now since i'm going to you go to standardize it now so you go ahead and go ahead standardizing so let's z let's z so um standardize i need to write the english guys i'm writing too many so let me just say standardizing now. okay 
standardize so you want to standardize the distribution so that you have normal distribution okay so by standardizing now let's z let's z because we normally use um letter z is for standard distribution okay equals to the random variable it's supposed to be x but i use v here now so because it's approximation okay another thing you need to know about approximation that we have to take continuity correction okay for discrete approximation into consideration okay because we are approximating um discrete to or this normal distribution is continuous variable so uh, the correction error plus or minus um don't forget 0.5 like you have upper bound and lower bound so that's approximating discrete to continuous so um don't forget that okay so let me continue with this one now so this will be um so v or x like your textbook okay so minus mu that's standardizing to standardize the distribution so over sigma this time around you are using standard deviation so that i can use a um, standard table um normal distribution um table in order to compute my values so now let's go ahead and work with what we have now so i want some um, greater than so probability z greater than now guys this one here is um you want some um, where is it two points this one here so greater than 2.6 greater than 2.6 so that means that we have to use upper value okay upper bound better still upper bound if it have to be less than for example if it have to be less than then um we go ahead with um, lower bound something like that if it have to be equals to and so on you just go ahead and uh, equals to it just going to be the range of um, um lower and upper bound so this is greater than so i'm going to use upper bound that is 26 points five because you add a point five to it you have to be less than then use lower bounds if it's equal to then you do you do the range of upper and lower bound okay so this time around now so and i want to use this formula so my v now will be what 26.5 guys hope that is clear so 26.5 minus the mean the mean is 39.1 minus 39.1 divided by the standard deviation the standard deviation is the square root of the um, variance square root of variance uh, let me just do that properly square root of variance so square root of 28 sorry 24.882 so i can close this now if you don't mind so this equals to or implies let me use implies okay implies so the z value now is greater than so let me put this one in my calculator 26.5 minus 31.9 everything over square root of 24.882 equals to equals to minus minus 1.0825 zero eight two five five okay so you can go to your z table now and get this okay i can show you how to use calculator to do this so let me go to my table now so let's check this up so one point zero under eight two five so that is zero point eight six one so the solution is zero the probability zero point eight six one so the probability that um more than 26 family only this wash um only only this washer is um, 0.861 okay, okay guys um let's just go to the next question i'm sorry let's go to the next question is um, here is the next question um andy add um four red socks and eight black socks in his drawer uh, it takes two socks at random from his drawer and find the probability that the socks taken are of different colors. Okay, so guys, um, if you look at this now, um, we take two um, socks at random. So we can complete this task um, using three diagram, guys. Okay, so um, let me just do that. So um, let's take this. So let's have, uh, let's say probability. Um, 
um, source pick red here and black here uh, so this will be the first trial then um, the, the second try this will be the second trial here now so guys hope you are familiar with three diagram okay so like um, this one will give us um, this will be a red red for the trial this will be a red black trial solution here will be a red black trial red black Sorry, uh, I need to write it very well. Sometimes my handwriting can be. <laughs> Sorry about that. This will be black red. You can see black red. Black. Red trial. And this will be black black trial. Uh, and this uh, probability became black black because we are considering two. Okay, so now for um, let's quickly probability of an event generally. Uh, it's number of possible outcome. Don't forget. Probability of a given event equals to number of possible outcome. So let me just denote that on n of p uh, divided by number of total outcome. So n of t. Okay. So then probability of black pen. Uh, I don't need to be writing all this um, because this is just to mark. I need to don't need to waste much time. So let me just get total outcome n t. Number of total outcome will be four plus eight. Uh, four plus eight that is twelve. Okay. So I can work with what I have now. Um, if you don't mind, <laughs> okay, let me just go ahead and do that for you. So this will be four over twelve anyway. This four over twelve. Uh, probability um, black. That is first trial. So um, this is actually four is red. So this should be red. Okay, I can be funny sometimes. <laughs> okay, this is actually probability red because red is four. Okay, so probability red. This is red. Um, probability black. Okay, from here I can go ahead and play. Okay. Go back to my tree diagram because I actually want to work with the tree diagram. Okay, so now. Now, first try now, probability red is what? So that's 4 over 12. So you have 4 over 12 here. Now, and uh, if Andy was to take second time now, you taking here now, the red drop by um, picking red second time. You are we pick red first time, so red will drop to three. So you are you have three left, three, and the total outcome also reduced by one, so that is three over eleven. So here yeah, now, red red is um, red red is four over twelve. And that is times this independent event, okay? 3 over 11. So that will be red, red. Then um, red, black now. So picking red first try is 4 over 12. Black first try too. So the only thing that since you are picking black for the first time, so the black is still 8. Okay? But the total outcome has reduced, okay? So that will be 11 by 1. So this will be 4 over 12, okay, then times 8 over 11. Then I'm um, black here, black first time here is um, 3, um, black is 8 over 12. So this is 8 over 12. Then black second time will be 7 over 12. 7 by 11, sorry about that. Okay, so this one here will be um, black 8 over 12. Then times black second time, that is 7 over 11. And finally black black. That will be 8 over 12. This is actually black red. Okay, black red. Sorry about that. This will be 4 by 11. Okay. So finally, black, black. Um, that will be 8 over 12. Times 7 over 11. I, don't, I won't show you that. Because it's just that probably the next question will be need them some other information. 
So now I can go ahead with different color now. So look at this now. This is this different color. That is black, red, or red, black. This one here. Black, red, or red, black. So I can complete this question now. So black, red, or red, black. So that's different color. So probability black, red, or red, black. Let's start with red, black, the first one. Red, black. Or that is plus black red so in order not to waste much time i'll just plug everything into calculator like that so i'm going to do 4 over 12 just listing um sorry about that 8 over 33 plus 8 over 33 so that'll be 16 over 33 That's 16 over 33. So that's solution to that question. 16 over 33. Guys, hope that is clear. We can go to the next question now. 16 over 33. So, um, the random variable x is the number of red socks taken. Okay, so draw up the probability distribution table for x. Okay, guys, um, the random variable x is the um, number of red socks taken. Okay, so guys, don't forget that this is actually a probability distribution for uh, discrete um, random variable. We have to draw um, a probability distribution, distribution table for a discrete random variable. Okay, so generally, don't forget that generally, if um, we have um, if um, a random variable, okay, we is a discrete distribution anyway, so I don't need. Okay, so this is some. Um, let's say um, zero. And this one i didn't even write it to you i'm sorry about that guys <laughs> this is actually meant to be um a random variable take a particular area, um, value let's see this one equals to lowercase x so that's what i want to write here now here for example now random variable x is number of red socks so for example let's say no red no red will be um this that is um take no red zero red is zero then if you have something like um equals to one that is one red then equals to two red so for example no red will be black black okay so one red will be black red or red black then two red will be r r so this these are the probability so this probability for example this probability this probability that um probability around we have a um, red red so this one x equals to two okay random variable x is the number of red socks so number of red socks is two here this one, this two here will be number of red socks is one for this two. Number of red socks is one. And for black, black, number of red socks will be zero. So that, that's what they're asking us to do. So hope you, it's clear. Okay, so let's go ahead and compute the table now. Um, let me just go ahead and use um, rectangular box so that it will be easier for me to draw a table with that. Okay, so um, I'm going to put the value of the random variable up then i'll put the um, probability down here okay so let's have something like that so now um when x that is number of red number of that is no 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 red zero one red is one and two red two so this one something like black 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 so number of red is zero this probability and there are two of that you have red black or black red red black or, or black red that would be one black red something like that the probability red red this is okay so i can put the probability now so um probability so i can go ahead and finish up now From here we can compute the expectation that will be the next question so uh, i have to import this from the first question okay so so that we can use it so now for example probability black black now we can go ahead and do 8 over 12 times 7 over 11. so take your calculator now let me do that 8 over 12 times 7 over 11 equals to that is same um, 14 over 33. so probability black black that is no red no red is black black that is 14 over 33 okay 
So probability red, black, or black red. That's the solution to the first question. So that'll be 4 over 12 times 8 over 11 plus 8 over 12 times 4 over 11. And that gives us 8 over um, 33 plus 8 over 33. So that'll be 16 over 33. So this one here will be 16 over 33. 16 over 33. 16 over 33. Then finally, probability red, red. So probability red, red will be 8 over 12 times 7 um, over 11. So 8 over 12 times 7 over 11, that equals to 1 over 11. So this is what they ask us to draw up. Okay, so that is. Okay, so guys, um, and another thing you should know that don't forget that summation of probability. If you sum all this, it should give us, it should give you 1. So you can try it. Okay, next question. Find the expectation of x. Okay. So expected value of the random variable, that is it's like mean. Okay. So, for this free data, so that will be x, um, that is, then px, probability of x. So, what we are going to do now is, um, that will be you just product of this, um, of the first row and the second row. So, 0 times 14 times, 0 times 14 over 33, that will be 0. Um, sorry about that. That should be summation. That's I don't know why I sh that should be summation, right? So that's summation of that. Sorry about that. So summation. I count from one to. You need not to write this, uh, but I just want to be <laughs> precise. Okay, it's a counter. You know, zero, one, two. Okay, so summation x i. Let me just put it like that. But your textbook, they need not to write it like that. They can just give you some x p x. But it's actually uh, because you're summing i uh, is a vector, so zero to two x i p i okay now so i have zero times 14 over 33 this is just one mark so i need not to waste much time with it but um no problem about that i just want you guys to understand what you're doing then plus one times 16 over 33 then finally plus two times or let me just do 2 into 1 over 11. So you can use your calculator to complete this now. Sorry about my handwriting now. Okay, so if you do this, this is 0. This is 16 over 33 plus um, 2 over 11. So that's 16 over 33 plus 2 over 11. That is 2 over 3. So the answer here is 2 out of 3. 2 over 3. So that's the solution to this question, guys. Let's... Okay, guys, um, the solution to the Cambridge Advanced Level Mathematics May June 2018, paper 6 1, and probability and statistics 1 will be available um, on my YouTube channel immediately after this session. And um, guys, here is my YouTube channel. There are quite good numbers of maths, additional mathematics, ICT, robotic, and coding video on my YouTube channel that will definitely help you guys enhance your learning. Okay, so you can just go through if you find any of my uh, video um, useful. Um, just go ahead and click like and you can also um, subscribe to my channel we appreciate any of my work for um, subsequent updates of new videos also um, here is my test shop guys you can have access to quite good numbers of board work worksheets um, e-learning resources and um, all the videos available on my um, youtube channel are also available via my test shop so if you find any of my e-learning resources useful guys go ahead and you can help review and in order to see what um, I can do in order to improve on my resources and you can also just go ahead and click like okay guys um, let's end with this note guys guys do have a good day ahead wait the streets up